What's up YouTube? It's your boy Douglas M and today I'll be going over an uh, app uh, for your um, iTunes app store or your Android um, app store. Well, well the Android is specific tabs but it's called the online desktop and it's a free app. It gives you two gigs of uh, cloud storage and basically what it is is Microsoft Office. Um, you know, running through a server on your tab it's Wi-Fi only because it, it, I think it's I think the general idea of, for this is is for tabs. So tabs don't have an Ethernet port, well the ones that I've seen don't. So it's Wi-Fi only, and you have to kind of have a decent, you know, average speed. Like if it's low, it probably won't work because it needs is 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 based everything you do is based on, um, you know, your Wi-Fi connection. So. Um, I think that's uh, it's and again it's free so I don't think you can beat you can beat that um, because everything that I've seen I have uh, office uh, what is it called office suite 6 and that's 15 bucks I have the free version they give it to you for free for six days that's 15 bucks but anyway let, let's let's talk about well let's get into the app a little let's click on it so it looks so when you click on it you hit sign in as you know, online has a cloud gaming service, but they also have this on live desktop. Now for Android users, it's only for specific tabs. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Okay. Alright, so let me let me go into Oh yeah, that's my documents. Let me get out of there. I was doing something on it earlier. So that's what it looks like when you will get on it for the first time. Um, <clears throat> but so let me go over the Android um, tabs that is compatible with right now, um, and that is the Acer ta um, Tab A A five hundred, Asus Pad Transformer, HTC Evo View, HTC Flyer. I guess those are phones. I don't know. Uh, Motorola Zoom, Samsung Note ten point one, which is what you're looking at right there. <clears throat> um, but also the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, uh, the Gal Samsung Galaxy Tab, tab 8.9, the Sony Tablet, and the Toshiba Thrive. So, unfortunately for Android, those are the only ones. I know there's a few that were not mentioned, and unfortunately, this app at this time, it's October of 2012, uh, that it won't work. But of course, um, I'm sure they'll be adding many more as the months go on okay now also a question you guys may ask will this work with well let's before we even get into that let's let's go into the apps here let me zoom in so you can see them I don't know if you can really see them yeah there they go so you see Microsoft Word you see Excel you see PowerPoint you see Adobe Reader you see Internet Explorer if we go on the other side let's see here you got the documents, um, sample files. I need to delete that in your recycling bin, which doesn't matter. And on the bottom, you even have hot buttons there. It's, I guess it's emulating a computer. That's funny. Um, you know, so you can hit those. Um, and you see the keyboard thing there. You see the uh, paint uh, symbol there paintbrush and all that um, with the colors uh, you so with this tab I can draw but you could use your finger as well you can so you can draw with this as well on your documents which is awesome being that I have a ta uh, a note um, that works out for me if if I wanted to do that now um, we'll get the only thing that that I would say off gate that that kind of sucks about this is because Number one, if you don't have a good internet connection, um, you can't use it. So, although let's say your internet connection is good at the house, but it's not good um, at school or wherever you're going, well, you can't use it at that time. So, just keep that in mind. Because actually, one one of these days that I was in school t this week wouldn't come on, so I had to use my um, I have to use a default. I have Office uh, Suite 6, which is 15 bucks. 
<clears throat> in the app store for Android. I had to use that as a default uh, to take my notes in class. But, uh, but as you can see here, this is just like Microsoft Word. No different. Um, no different at all. You can here's the keyboard, and you can type and all sorts of stuff, and do just everything just as you you, you you're used to doing. So it is no different at all. No different at all. So that's what I like about it. Change the font. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go into hit X here. Ask me if I want to save it. Do not save. And we'll get into the save option as well. Because like I said, it gives you um, two gigs of free uh, cloud storage. And also there's other versions, not other versions, but there's price points to this. The free one gives you two gigs. And I think there's one at $4.99 that gives you, where's that? What was I reading that? $4.99 a month gives you a gigabyte of Accelerate full flash browser, so it would be faster. Um, a gigabyte speed cloud storage, Dropbox, Webmail, Gmail. And nine ninety nine a month gives you fifty gigs with all that stuff. So, but I think for the average student, I honestly believe two gigs is way one gig is is way enough to 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 save documents. But I wanted this thing getting started. I was reading it before saving your documents and retrieving them to your tablet because it saves it to the cloud, right? But it doesn't save it to your device. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks. Um, so let me read. It says, how do I access my files? It has some questions that people ask because I ran into that issue yesterday when I was uh, trying to retrieve the file. I was looking at my tablet. It was nowhere to be found. So it says, online files provides cloud storage for your files uh, that automatically synchronize with your documents, folders, on your on live desktop just open your desk your documents folder on your on live desktop to see your on live files from the device such as your PC or Mac you can access on live files via files.onlive.com using a web browser now I haven't I'm gonna try that with my tab and see how that works out and maybe I'll be able to access it and save it there but you can definitely do I've done it on the desktop um, that does work and then I emailed myself uh, the document and then saved it to my tab it's a lot of extra work but it's free um, and you're getting I mean you know this is not even watered down this is actually Microsoft Word no different so let's go to Excel so you can see that and again this is this is exactly you know what you get when you're accessing it on your Microsoft Office same thing no different see awesome and um, let's go to PowerPoint haven't even looked at that one yet double click like a computer you gotta double click it <laughs> yep same crap I do a presentation in two weeks so let me get used to it let's go to Internet Explorer I don't really understand the Internet Explorer I try to to um, to search for some things and it said something like this is not uh, something this is not this is not used for casual browsing or something like that I forgot what it said so I just got out of it but I just clicked it for you I don't I don't know exactly what it does maybe if you guys know you can comment below or how I'm supposed to use that I don't really need to use the browser and then it also has it doesn't have an icon for it but it has oh let me show you this thing here a little paintbrush see I could use my where's my pen is my pen in there eh. that's a fail couldn't even get it out there we go See, da, 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 da. but you can use your finger. Um, so if you don't have a pen, that's no problem. Um, you could also do that in Microsoft Word as well. Um, so 
if you needed to draw something in, in your uh, document, that's that can work as well. It has a calculator built in, which is pretty awesome. Now, I don't know what the heck this is. Microsoft, I didn't even see what it said, but you guys may know. Microsoft Surface, I think that's what it said, or I don't know. I don't know, it's, I guess it's something with pictures, but it's there. There's no icon for it, but it's there on the bottom. It's a it's an icon on the um the bottom of it. But um that's just basically it. Um like I said guys, it's free, works off of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi when you can shake and bake. You know what I'm saying? Um what else was I going to say about this? There's one thing I forgot. Oh, coming soon with this now. It um coming soon. It will be there. It will be for the PC, so that would be awesome. So then you can go on your PC and finish your work, or start on the PC and then save it to the cloud, and then continue at school or whatever. So it's coming to the PC, the Mac, and TVs, which TVs is pretty interesting, which is cool. I don't know if they mean if you're. I don't know what that means. So that's cool because I know like Logitech, they now have a, a Skype cam that just works f directly with your TV. If you have a, if you have like a HDMI port, you just plug the camera up to the TV itself. No software, no Google TV, no nothing, no uh, Roku or whatever those stupid devices are. It's just the cam and your TV, and you got Skype. You you set it up. I guess it would probably come with like a little remote, maybe I don't know to make it work. Or I don't know, but all you need is the cam and the TV. So it's scary to think of what what that can mean. With that, it, it's coming for TV. So and that's pretty cool. But um, that's that's pretty much, I guess, all I got. Again, this is the on live desktop. Um, <clears throat> and again, it's for you know your Apple and your your iOS and your Android devices. Um, and that's that's pretty much it uh, remember hit like if you like it remember to subscribe if anything thanks for looking and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace